welcome to the KitchenAid kitchen. I'm Hanisha. KitchenAid now has several different attachments available with their stand mixers, either tilt head or bowl lift. They fit onto both. I have here the food grinding attachment which not only minces meat but there's several different things you can do with it. Salsas, chutneys, bread crumbs, grating cheese. Um, it ideally comes with two dies. A coarse one and a fine one. You would ideally use the coarse for chunky chutneys, salsas, uh, if you're looking at doing a coarse burger patty, uh, the fine would be ideal for sausages, pates, etc. It has a dual sided blade, so there's no right or wrong side that can be put in either way and cuts equally well. Easy to clean as the entire ogre comes out and it's all dishwasher safe and can be washed in the dishwasher. To assemble it, you put your auger in, put in the blade and since I'm doing a coarse uh, meat patty today, I'm going to use the coarse dye. This now fits onto the attachment hub. Loosen the hub screw, remove the cap and place it safe because you usually tend to lose that. Fit it in, give it a little twist and tighten the screw to lock it in place. It comes with a dual purpose tool over here. Not only does it help you to guide your meat or ingredients through the mincer, it is also used for loosening. Very often when dealing with meat, it hands get greasy, so it's hard to take it off. This helps you loosen. We recommend using the food grinding attachment on a speed between 6 to 8. I idly use my little tray here to pile up my ingredients. and then slowly guide it through the mincer with the plunger. Make sure your pieces are evenly sized, uh, just enough to fit the mouth of the mincer. So here we have our mince ready for our lamb kebabs. We can shape it into patties and they're good to cook. The KitchenAid attachments now provide you the option to bring the restaurant home. Once you have the food grinding attachment, we also have the fruit and vegetable strainer available which can be used in sync with the food grinding attachment. To assemble this, we place the ogre with the strainer inside and then tighten the cap to fix it in place. We then place the cap over. It has a lid here to avoid spillage and splashing. I'm now going to make a tomato sauce. Uh, this will ideally remove the skin, the pips and the seeds on this end and we'll get the juice or sauce in the bowl over here. You can use it on a speed between 6 to 8. Place the bowl for the pulp. If you see it pretty much goes through itself, but just to guide it through, you can use the plunger. So 
So here we have an absolutely smooth sauce that can be used to toss a pasta or over meats. We here have all the skins, pips and seeds which can be used innovatively in breads etc and does not need to be discarded. So we are using up the entire fruit. It's simple to assemble and dismantle. We just loosen the hub screw and remove it out of place. A little push and all this can be easily cleaned. Apart from the fruit and vegetables trainer, we also have the sausage stuffing kit available with the food grinding attachment as they can be used together. Once the food grinder minces your meat, you can use that fine mince to fill in your sausages with the sausage stuffer. So the food grinding attachment not only serves the purpose of mincing meat, vegetable making salsas, chutneys, but also has additional attachments that can be used along with it to give you a complete meal.